Hey gang, welcome back. It is Captain Cowboy here with another video. Tonight we're going to be talking about, well, quite honestly, KVK. KVK is right around the corner, coming up on Saturday for us. I've got two days and eight hours left, so I wanted to go ahead and release a video and show you the best way to send a march, depending on the situation that you're in. So if you're in a tower, let's say you're in this tower, and you're going to be occupying it, well, you could be occupying it by yourself, or you could be occupying with others. So I'm going to do two different troop formations and show you what you should look like and what your troop formation should look like if you are A, by yourself, or B, with others. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, why don't I just use a normal troop formation for PvP without any artillery? Well, you can. However, this the entire point of this video is about getting the best formation to be the safest formation. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pretty much just play around utilizing this troop formation. And I'm just going to go through, I'm going to reset everything down to zero, just for the most part. Um, just so we could get a good look at what our troop formation should look like. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go up to the top, start with your highest tier troop. And now this first formation we're going to be doing is going to be for going solo. So if you're solo, you're going to want more troops of your better tiers. So, what this entails is going to be um, about 20k of your top tiers. And that will be a good base setup. Now, moving down, after you get to your um, second tiers, you might actually want to be utilizing a little more uh, troops. But for now, we're going to keep this going at 30,000. So we're going to have relatively low level uh, numbers of our highest tier troops. And then once we get down to like the two tiers down from our top, we're going to start decreasing exponentially in the quantity that we're sending. So I'm just going to be, based on my march capacity, I'm going to be sending 5,000 troops of these T9s. And then once we get down to the T8s, we're going to be sending 2,000 of each. Granted, I only have 125 of that, so we really can't do a whole bunch with that. And just give me 2,000 all the way down, in, in, including all the way down to Tier 2, because Tier 2 is about the weakest I will want to make this. Now, if you notice, this is for by yourself, and we have a whole bunch of troops that are going to be really low quantity. Um like including our top troops like normally you know I might be sending 50 to 60,000 of my highest tiers but right now I'm only sending 20,000 you might ask yourself why am I going really low if I'm gonna be by myself well if you're by yourself you need to think duration how long can I actually survive here by putting a lot of your lower tiers they're gonna be standing in front of your higher tier troops so your lower tiers well you have two different types within those lower tiers that I, I've talked about in a bunch of my other troop formation videos if you want to get really into detail. But what you want to be doing is putting those weaker troops up front in front of your march so that they can die first prior to getting to your stronger troops. And what this will do is, one, it will lower the cost to heal and replace your troops if they potentially lose battle, a march. Um, two, what it's also going to be doing is it's going to be keeping a lot of your bigger troops at home to protect your castle in case, let's say, you're invading and if you're invading you're going to want to have a lot of troops at home to protect yourself so another march setup that we would be utilizing would be a very basic we're with everyone else now if you're with everyone else things get really simple 
if you're a higher tier, um, you know, you're going to have weaker castles below you in there to help and pres uh, serve as fodder. So um, imagine that this was Zed Zero, and from here on, I don't want to reset that at just too much time, but pretty much this is what my troop formation would look like if I'm with a whole bunch of people. If I manage to not do that. Alright, so we go T11's boom. Alright. That's my true formation right there. My highest troops. And you just max it out because you don't need to have any differences in your troops because if you think about it you're doing a mega garrison you're spending 2000 gold everyone's utilizing the same airship so if you have let's say us I'm a C35 let's say this was a T11 here for distance rather than the T10 that it actually is what you're going to be seeing is well if I have C30s and I have C29s or C28s you know whatever um I'm going to have all my T11s sitting in the back. Then I'm going to have all of my C30s with their T10s in front of me, and all the C29s with their T9s in front of them. So I have two different ty tiers of troops in front of me. So if I'm sending my best ca uh, troops, I'm essentially utilizing everyone else around me to serve as one, fodder, so they're going to die before me, and two, I'm protecting them because I have much stronger troops there to protect them. Now, if you are one of those lower level troops and you see someone doing that, it can go both ways. It's not the best PvP formation. It could not honestly get you killed. It's gotten me killed so many times. But in the end, it truly is a stronger formation if everyone is on the same page about this. This is the safest. And those people that have the, you know, the C29 with the T9s, what they're going to have is they're going to have a much larger losses than the C-35 in the back. However, it's going to be cheaper losses, and if everyone you know agrees to this, it's better for the kingdom in general, and just help them out regrowing if they, by chance, lose a bunch of troops. So that's the way it goes. So if you're going to be with other people, send your best uh, tier troops. If you're going to be by yourself, send a very highly mixed march setup. Kind of like your PvE march setup, but a little more um, balance with regards to uh, your highest tier. So like your highest tier, you have a little bit of them, but then it drops and drops and drops as the further you go down. But you still want all of those lower tiers because in the end, you know, those lower tiers will die first for you, keeping your healing um, cost low. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, leave a comment in this video, reach out to me on Discord or online, and now, send me a tweet. Thank you all for watching this Scam Cowboy.